Hey, welcome back. Pretty excited today. Got a new wild turkey, uh, one in that in that lineup, uh, and I couldn't not put it against another wild turkey. So we're doing a two for today, and we'll get to it right after this. All right, uh, we have Kentucky uh, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Now, typically, uh, your barrel proofs and all are going to run a little bit higher in price. Uh, and I had the Wild Turkey Rare Breed uh, barrel proof. Uh, but it, it comes in, at, uh, even though they call it a barrel proof, it's only 116.8 proof. This one, on the other hand, is a single barrel and it comes in at 101 proof. So a lower content, alcohol content than this one, uh, but about the same price, I think. So I, I don't exactly remember, but it's funny because I use the exact same bottle, uh, just a little bit different labeling. Uh, and this one from here, the lighting, it looks maybe a tinge darker, but let's pop the cork on these things and see. So nice cork pop. Let me pour a little of this one. Okay, we drip just a little. Oh, look out. Okay. And similar, very same bottle, same cap, same cork. All right, so let's see if there's any difference between these two. Is that on the outside? Yes. Uh -huh. No alcohol abuse. All right, so we have rare breed, cast strength, or barrel proof, and Kentucky Spirit single barrel. All right, so let me get some air in these. I've, I've tried this one before, I've, I've, I've reviewed rare breed. Hmm. So let's get some air in it. And look at the color on it. Check the legs out a little bit. Yep, decent legs on it. Uh, a little darker amber color. Now, let's look at this one. All right. Get a little air in there. You know what? Very, very similar. Yeah, they're about identical in color. It must have just been the lighting one, one side of the table to the other. Uh, but yeah, they're very, uh, very similar in color, almost identical. Legs running about the same. Uh, on these, let's see how talented I am. Can I swirl them both at the same time? I can. Yeah, very similar. So I'm going to try this one first because I've reviewed this one before. And I want the first sip of the day to come from the new bourbon that I just uncorked. Pulled the plastic off before this, but uh, haven't tasted it yet. Okay, I'm getting a, a oaky, uh, caramel, vanilla, uh, little fruit. This one's a little punchier. Could be to the slightly higher alcohol content, but uh, very similar nose. Maybe a little different fruit where maybe this is more leaning toward the apple. Maybe this is a little darker. I don't know. Boy, they're close. Very, very similar. Uh, so I'm going to get that first sip out. Like I said, I don't like to give a lot of notes on the first sip, but let's do that. Okay. Sweet. Good tongue coating. Uh, I am getting some oaky. Don't like to give a lot of notes off that but uh, it did coat well on that first sip. So let's look at these legs again. Still about the same. Medium, I'd call them medium. Uh, there, I've, I've seen a lot worse, but I have seen better. 
So there's that, and that's on the outside. All right. A little bit bigger sip on that one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some of those wood notes even up all, closer to the middle of the tongue. Uh, the sweet is, is, is coming down a little on that second sip. Little tongue stands drinking a little bit hot, um, but not bad, not bad. I am getting a good warm uh, hug here. Sort of feel it in the top of, of the stomach, but uh, pretty good finish. Uh, pretty decently long. It doesn't last forever. But let me uh, uh, try the rare breed again. All right. Hmm. Am I really getting a lot of difference out of these? Not sure. Um, I think I can tell this one's a higher alcohol content, getting a lot of, a little more warmth up here uh, in the top of the stomach. A similar finish, very, very similar uh, bourbon. Um, I don't know if I should really try to dig too deep on this. Um, uh, this would be a stumper if uh, someone asked you to, to blind them. Um, I don't know uh, if I could tell them apart, really. Okay, I know how to tell the twins apart. Uh, one of them has a, a slightly different eye color or whatever, you know. Uh, this one, yeah, has a little more singe on the ethanol burn uh, when you nose it up close. Uh, but if you nose them out, there's, boy, they're hard to tell apart. They're, they really are. I don't even know if there's a difference except the alcohol content. Slightly, slightly different nose. I think maybe a little fruitier, a little more apple or something over here, maybe. Um, hard to tell. There's the vanilla, the caramel, the oak. Really good finish. Not, like I said, doesn't last forever. Little, uh, the tongue singe is almost gone now because I've had, you know, bourbons back and forth. Let me try this one again. Hmm. I don't know if there's a difference. I really don't. Um... I'm getting a very, very similar palette on both of these. Um, this is a stumper, really. And on that sip, on this one, on that last sip, I had just as much singe on it, uh, you know, back and forth. Like I said, if I nose this one deep in the glass, that one will kind of take your breath away. I'm joking, but it will hit you harder uh, on the ethanol, the you know the alcohol nose burn up up in the sinus if you really stick your nose down in there. So I don't know if there's a difference. I'm gonna have to look all this up because I mean the only real difference this one says wild turkey rare breed barrel proof and this one says wild turkey kentucky spirit single barrel and this has both jimmy and eddie russell's name and this only has jimmy russell on it um and that and the alcohol content is different i don't know man uh, i can't I think I, I pretty much have two bottles uh, almost the same. It's just one's a little bit higher alcohol content. I did get a good warm hug off of both of them. Maybe this one gave it a little longer, you know, a little more warmth, but that's the alcohol content. Very similar uh, nose, 
maybe a little lighter fruit over here, maybe. It could be because of the alcohol being a little lower, it is a different sensation. Uh, but the tongue, the palate was almost identical. Um, I don't know, man. So I would recommend one or the other. If you like al higher alcohol content, go for the rare breed. Uh, if you don't want quite that much, uh, go for the uh, Kentucky Spirit. Um, I think they're, they almost taste identical. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Sorry, I couldn't really uh, bring you uh, two different bourbons. I thought I was. Uh, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell down there for notifications, and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.